Okay, we have here an oil pressure gauge kit, which has two different gauges at two different PSI ranges and a bunch of adapters and hydraulic hose with a threaded adapter at one end and a quick connect adapter at the other end. I'll show you how to set that up. Okay, I've taken the case out of its box and then there's two little connector tabs down here. Just pop them open and lift that up. And there's a little manual inside here if you want to read it. And a nice foam cover. And now I'll show you how to set this up. This gauge reads up to 400 PSI, very high pressure. This one reads up to 100 PSI. This is the one you'll use with your automatic overdrive transmission because the most you're gonna go is 40 PSI. So this is a, a good meter for that. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take out the hydraulic hose. Okay, so here's the hydraulic hose out here. And the fittings you need to use will include this brass extension, which is double threaded at both ends. So we'll need that. We will need one of these two 90 degree adapters. And we will need this double female connector. So the idea is for this to be attached to the end of this hydraulic hose, but this end has to be extended by using this adapter and this extension pipe where this end goes into the transmission test port. Okay, I've connected those three items, the 90 degree adapter, the double female connector, and the threaded double-ended pipe connector. Now on the transmission, you take out the oil pressure port plug, which I'll identify in a photograph that will be part of this video. And you thread this into that port until the pipe thread is only somewhat tight. You don't have to make it very, very tight. After that is done, then you take this and you thread this into that end here. Now when you thread this in, this hose is really long, so you'll have to uncoil it and turn the whole hose to get it to go into here. So this is how the hose attaches to these fittings with this already in the transmission.
once you have these connectors all screwed together and this is inside the transmission port, then you can take this gauge and connect this into the hose adapter. And you do that by pulling back on the release ring and then you can put the gauge inside the adapter. And that is how it looks when the adapter is in place. And down here, this will have already been screwed into the transmission port. To take the gauge off, you simply pull back on the ring and then this will come apart. Very easy to use 